Rudy will be taking a big load of stuff to our new house. Zone where things are becoming a lot more lax. Projects so far, they've been working on their research projects for Ocean Life. Good morning, it is Thursday, it is May 9th. Today is the day that we go down and get the truck <laughs> to load it up because Rudy will be taking a big load of stuff to our new house, I think on Saturday, So, but I'll be home the whole week because I still have to work, you know how that is. But he will be out there doing stuff. He's gonna be painting and he still has to work, but lucky enough, he works from home, so as you can imagine, it's much easier for him to work somewhere else. So, as long as he has internet, he's good. But today, I had to leave Ollie, like, right after school today. Go get him and take him down to go get the truck. So we have to be there by four. But of course, guess what happens? We get a notice on our door today that they're going to be doing our street. So, I don't know if you remember, guys remember way back, I don't know if I even talked about it, but... They did one, like, three-fourths of our street, and they didn't finish it. I don't know why. So, they are supposed. To, they came to go do it a couple weeks ago, and they didn't do it then because it was raining. So, they all they're coming back to do it. And I'm like, of course, they're going to be coming to do it because we have stuff to do. We need to get a moving truck up into our yard. So, but they're supposed to be done by 5, so hopefully we'll have, it'll be done before then. But I've got a box with me right now so I can pack up some more stuff here. And I'm kind of getting down to the point where... I have a lot of stuff that I can't pack up yet just because we still have two weeks left, you know what I mean? Today we are going to be doing, I believe we are, we're doing hammerheads today. So we'll be doing, learning about hammerhead sharks. Yesterday we did great whites and like we didn't do it on Wednesday or Tuesday, Tuesday, <laughs> whatever day it was. We didn't do it on Tuesday because I wasn't here. So I didn't have the sub do it because I didn't want them messing around with it. So we did all of our whole thing with great whites yesterday. So. We did the reading, we did the vocabulary, we did the questions, glued them all in our book and everything all yesterday. So today we will be doing our hammerhead sharks and I think we're just gonna do the reading and the vocabulary. We are reviewing sight words and spelling words because we're not done, but with, with sight words what I'm doing is I'm using our words from our shark week as our word of the day. So we'll be reviewing those. Um, for math, we are doing hundreds, tens, and ones in expanded form. So I think we went a little higher than 100 just to kind of give them, because they are getting ready for second grade. So we kind of give them a little more of a challenge. But I'm gonna get to it because I need to get this stuff packed. I brought, like I said, I brought one box. I already had a box here, so I'm gonna try to get some stuff packed up. And I think I'm gonna pack up my manipulatives, like all my little, I don't know, blocks and like, I don't know what you call them all, like my Unifix cubes and connecting stuff and hoobity hoobities, my magnetic blocks, all those things, um, put them in the box and then, but I'm gonna leave it open so that way if I need to pull something out really quick, I can just do that. But at least they'll be packed. <laughs> Not okay. I, I, don't, I say that every time just because I make it sound like it's way worse. It's not. It's not really that bad at all. They're actually doing really well. <laughs> There's still a lot of talking, but we're kind of getting to that zone where things are becoming a lot more lax. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not letting little things trip me up and like, I'm not like being super picky on everything because I'm just like, you know what? You guys are tired. I'm tired. We're like, kind of in that zone where we're just like, we're feeling the end coming up. Which I don't know how people do it, like they go longer than this. Like they go, I there was one lady that commented, I think she was in New York and they go till the end of June. I'm like, that's insane. But their schools are probably so used to it that it doesn't feel weird to them to keep going. Cause when I was in school, we got out in June 
I think it was like the first or second week in June we got out, but we didn't start until the middle of September. It was just normal to us. Like that was so normal. Now out here, that's not the way it is. And in Kansas, it's not the same way either. Um, Rudy's sister, I think, gets out. I want to say they're done with their school next week. And I'm like, that's really early. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this conversation, but... No, they, they've, we've been having a really pretty good day today. I have been letting them kind of do a little bit, like I throw in a fun activity every once in a while. Like, so this morning what we did, we did our calendar and all that stuff like that. Then I told them, go ahead and get your, your iPads, we'll do some cahoots. So we did some cahoots, which were reviews for their math test tomorrow. So we did ones like on adding multiples of 10, subtracting multiples of 10. Uh, what was the other one we did? We did some on time, which they need some more work on time. So I'm thinking I'm gonna, I have a game over here that I think I'm going to bring out in a, in a little bit for them to work on. Like this, it's a matching game, and they just have to match the clocks to the front clock. Uh, they just they really need some more help with the time to the half hour. Or so, but it will let me know when I do the test, like who's really having trouble and who on the kahoot, which is copy off somebody else on the kahoot. You know what I mean? So, but we did Kahoot for a little bit. Then I gave him like, there, it was snack time. So I said, you have 10 minutes of free time on the iPad since you already have them out. So they did that for 10 minutes. And then we moved into doing Shark Week stuff. So we did Hammerheads. They watched their Jonathan Bird video. We did the close read. And then um, I decided to give them again another fun time because they had some time working. We put on Art for Kids Hub and they did drawing of a hammerhead shark, which they really enjoyed. So they did that for a little bit, and then by then it was almost lunchtime. So then we, I read them a book, and then we went to lunch. Came back, they did their draw, their writing, which just took us the whole time. Now they're in PE. We come back, they're gonna do a little bit more math. I was thinking about having them review a couple more times, like maybe like one or two more of the Kahoot games. Probably one, because I think two is gonna be a little too much. And then I'll let them give them time to do this activity, and then we'll be a math center, so I'm trying to go home. So. I am trying to like, I want to keep the schedules the same and the routine the same, but I get it. Like, they're not the only one that's tired, so I get it, you know, so, but I do need, I need to write down, I've been really bad with my planner at home. Like, I haven't been using it and I'm thinking about it because it's the file of facts and I'm thinking about selling it. I mean, Dr. Rudy about this yet. He did get it for me for Christmas a couple years ago, but I'm thinking about selling it and then switching over to like a small happy planner, I think, because I really do like those and I like that they're already laid out like with, you know, like this one here is laid out with all the month and everything already on it. So I don't do all the stamping and everything on it and I can just add details and whatever I need to it. And I think it'll save me time. It's just, I really like using planners and everything, but it's just like, the other one, it just was becoming, it's becoming too much and I just don't have the time for it. And maybe things will change once we move and, you know, things calm down a little bit. But as of right now, that's kind of what I'm thinking to do, but I don't know yet. And I don't know why I'm even talking about this. But well, my kids are in PE, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get some stuff done and sit in quiet. But I do have to go pick up Rudy today. Oh, that's what I was getting to. Sorry. They scheduled our inspection for our house on Sunday at 1. So... I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I mean, I'm going to be at home by myself, so maybe run to like Dollar Tree and go do some little bit of shopping or something for like an hour or so, and then come back because they do have the lockbox for them to get in. So that might be the better way because I really don't want to sit there while they're doing the inspection. I'll just lock the dogs up and everything. Or maybe I'll take the dogs for a walk. That might be kind of cool. I don't know. I'll figure out something. But that's on Sunday, so we'll be doing that.
<laughs> like no, I'm a little bit happier than normal probably. Uh, yesterday we like spent a good two hours <laughs> moving stuff onto that truck. So we got like almost half, like we got we got almost everything on the truck. There is some space that we need to fill. And there's some areas where um, we're probably gonna take our desks because they're basically their doors, and so we're gonna push them up where the boxes are at so they don't go toppling over onto things because, you know, we didn't have anything to put across. So that's what, uh, that's kind of what we're thinking, but we'll see. But we got a whole, but we got like the whole garage is like pretty much empty. We still have some stuff that we need to put on there that we need to put to the back of the truck. So, so we'll probably get that done today because Rudy will be leaving tomorrow for the trip. For his way down to Kansas, so. Kind of crazy. Oh, they didn't put my car trash can back. It's still on the floor. <laughs> oh well. I don't know. Hopefully he's able to unload all that stuff by himself. I feel horrible that I can't go, but at the same time, like there's nothing I can do about it. I have to finish up the school year. So ten days left after this, after today. So and I'm trying to figure out what to do about Fun Friday today. Right now it's sort of wet outside, so I'm not sure if they're even gonna have recess today. But I'm hoping that it, they they're able to at least. You know, maybe they can get out and do something before, like, maybe rain happens. I don't know. But I'm thinking for Fun Friday, I'm trying to plan out some of the activities because I did box up a lot of my, like, blocks and other goofy, weird, like, connecting items. They're still here. Um, I don't know if you can see them. I don't think you can. There they are right there. Um, all I did was just, like, fold the box, the lids in, like, with that weird fold thing that they do. I didn't tape them, so if I do need to get into them, I can get into them. I just don't really want to, but because I did, I packed them all nicely, so they're like looking nice. But I think I might do the art center again, because they do have some art materials down here that they can use, and then I can do Legos or Lego. I think it still might work. I mean, we'll do something. Um, I don't usually do the train. I like they do the train center, but they're not really that excited about it anymore and plus it's like really broken and crazy and so I don't know I'll probably take it with me when I move but probably end up just going through it and getting rid of the broken stuff and then but I want I'm not gonna do it now because it's just gonna be a pain so but yeah and then today we have we'll be fishing up our hammerhead sharks today they do have their edge elastic test they have to do today which we got a lot of practice yesterday at Kahoot with it. So hopefully we should see some good scores. Um, for small groups yesterday, which I didn't get to talk about, we did actually do time to the hour and the half hour with the students um, from the gutted math book that I always point over here. There's nothing here anymore because I packed it up um, that I used to have over here. So we did that yesterday. Today, there's no spelling test. So I, didn't do any spe I didn't do any spelling words this week. I think there is, we have to do the questions to the hammerhead shark. I'm like all over the place. I'm so sorry. I'm not focused at all. Um, I have to do the questions for the hammerhead shark. We have to put those in their book. I do have a vocabulary, like alphabetical order page that they have to do. They need to work on their research project. That's the one thing that we need. So I got paper. It's fallen down, but I just took, you guys saw me cut, cut it in, the, in yesterday's video. I just took some of the butcher paper that they use for the the whiteboards, I like to cover the boards, bulletin boards. And um, I cut those down to like a size that's like about poster size. And so what I'll do today, if I remember to do it, I've been meaning to do it for like two or three days now, I have a Pinterest board that I've created. And so I'll show them some of like the ideas, like of ways that I can do a research board. And then they've been working on putting, I don't have my papers with me, 
um, the little sheets that have like the habitats, the way they live, what they look like, like those kind of things. So they can put those around, do the whole banner, what their animal is, and then do a picture of the animal. And so, and then they'll share it with the class next week. It's going to be kind of a like catch up, get everything done type day. I need to send their plants home today, which their plants have gotten really tall and really big. Um, I did have to transplant a couple from other plants because they kept dying and I'm not sure what was happening with them. So I just went ahead and moved them over to different ones. But but it's 7-12 and I'm going to get to my day because I want to try, try to get some more stuff packed up here. The only bad thing is I don't have any more boxes. <laughs> and I meant to bring a box today. I totally forgot. So maybe I'll go hunt down for a box somewhere. But I'm going to get some stuff done. I'm gonna share with you guys super fast. I actually have two things I wanna share. One is teacher appreciation gifts. I got more, it's so awesome. So there's one, okay, so one student brought me, because like they did a list and one of my items was different color expo markers because I use those a lot. And so this parent, one parent brought me, or one student brought me these ones, which I'm like, yeah. And they got the skinny ones, which I love the skinny ones. And it came with a little eraser, so got me that set. She got me a big thing of chocolate because I love chocolate. Because I love coffee. They sent me a gift card too. So that was the first one. Then another one just dropped off presents and I got two more packs of Expo markers. So I'm gonna have enough Expo markers to last me forever. Another pack and a gift card to a local ice cream shop here in town that makes the most fantastic ice cream and it's homemade. They make it everything the night before and they have some really good ice cream. So um, they got me a $10 gift card to there too, so that was super exciting. The other thing I was gonna show you, but I think someone's gonna be coming in in a minute, but let me go grab it, is the students' projects so far. They've been working on their research projects for Ocean Life. Okay, th it's been like a pretty hot mess most of the time. When they actually started to get to work on their projects, like doing, putting the, the stuff down on their posters, it's they're looking really good. So let me go get them really quick. There was four different ones, five different ones, which I've talked about before. So I'll go through each one and then I'll set them to the side. So they're not done yet. Some of them are still working, but this was the first one and it was dolphins. So you can see the top, this is dolphins. This is the water. And then they did the rocks and the, and the seaweed and everything. And then they have all their facts. They have the life cycle. Octopuses, as you can see. So they're still working on that one. They still have quite a bit to go. This one here is Great Whites. So, and as you can see, they put all the water going around it. That kind of looks like shark teeth, they said. Boom. This one here is Hammerhead Sharks. So they didn't put a title on it. I meant to have them put a title. Maybe they can add it. Oh, they did add a title. Sorry, I just didn't see it. It's up here at the top. And then they have their Hammerhead Shark. And then this is supposed to be seaweed. So I found some of this, like, Stuff that they use for like Easter baskets. The last one is sea otters and they did a circle with the sea otter in the center swimming around. And then they added, they added like a lot of information. They were really only supposed to put these things here but they put like everything attached to it, but that's okay. They came out super cute. It was like super happy. And they were so excited when they started working and they're just like, oh my gosh, they're doing all these things and it was like super exciting. It was like that moment where they're like, all oh, that chaos was coming together. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. You guys are doing an awesome job. So I'm actually gonna get some pictures of those because I would like to use them for a a blog post for my, my website or my blog. And I also need to take a Feed Up Friday photo. So I need to do that really fast too. And then I'm out of here.
Good morning. Hopefully you guys can see me because it's kind of still dark out. So, um, but Rudy just left about, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes ago. So I'm right now going to get coffee because I am so tired. Um, it's like six o'clock in the morning. We got up at like five. <laughs> and it was funny because usually my alarm is the one that goes off. And I'm like sitting there. I'm going to go this other way. And so I'm sitting there, I kept hearing this like, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. and I was like, what is that? But you know, it's like I'm still sleeping, so I'm thinking it's my dream. Okay, so it's my dream. <laughs> and then it like dawns on me that, because like, I hear Rudy move, or like he moved or something, and I was like, uh, no, that's Rudy's alarm. I'm like, ah, oh, it's so early. Because both of us woke up, and I don't know why. We both woke up around like one o'clock, and didn't go back to bed till like two or something. And so I kept trying to go to sleep. He stayed up and was watching like The Office or something. Maybe we were all just like anticipation of things to come. And I kept thinking about like things I have to do and because I have to, we like clean the house. Like there's not a lot of stuff, not clean the house. I clean the house out. Like there's not a lot of stuff left inside of it. Like the, all the garage is empty now. Uh, we removed some things from the, like the living room and our bedroom and so and like Rudy's office has to be all cleaned up. So those are things I'm gonna be working on today and just doing little small things to get ready for the inspection tomorrow. So, but anyway, so yeah, so I, we, after he left, I was like, I'm gonna, I was gonna make coffee. I, I can make coffee at home. I was like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I feel like treating myself. I got a Starbucks gift card from a student. So I'm gonna use that and treat myself today even though I treated myself yesterday out of my own money. Yeah, and he'll be gone all week long, so it's gonna be so weird, because like, I ordered HelloFresh meals for this week, and so I figured like, I can carry them over into lunchtime, or for like lunches, like half of it can go to lunch. It's just amazing that we have like two weeks left. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get my Starbucks, and then I'm gonna come back, try to get some stuff done. I'll, you, you guys will, I'll do like a little bit of something you guys can watch, do, me do, but me do. Um, but most of it's, I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I might be doing a lot of vlog and Netflix watching too. <laughs> I haven't done that so long. Like, I deserve it. Because <laughs> it's hard when he's home all the time. Like, I don't have time to go, you know, sit around and just watch vlogs and stuff. So, I'll watch them a little bit in the mornings, but I don't get to watch everybody's because they're so, like, some people's vlogs are longer. So, uh, you can start it. But then it's like time to go to work, and then I'm like, I don't have time to continue watching it. And so then I have to try to watch the next day. So it could take me like a whole week to watch one person's vlog because I'm just watching him in like 15 minute increments. So and then I tried to watch him like, like on weeks that he has he's doing dinner day. I'll try to watch him during those times too. So that but then again that's still like a half hour, and so I don't get through everybody's vlogs. So I'm trying. Plus, I'm getting hooked on renovation vlogs. <laughs> They're home renovation vlogs. <clears throat> and I started watching it because um, the, the guy that I watch is from Brighton, which actually I watch like his whole, all of his friends and all of those people. Um, but he's from Brighton. His name is Sean Elliott. I think it's Sean Elliott OC is his channel name or something. And he's part of like the Brighton crew is what they're called or they were called at one point. And so he just bought a house, and so they have been renovating the house. It's kind of, they're really interesting him doing it. So then, apparently, I looked. At, I just looked up like home renovation vlogs, and apparently, it's a thing. <laughs> so I've been watching them, and they're really interesting. A lot of them are in like the UK, though. So yeah, I'm gonna run inside and get my Starbucks here in just a second.
morning, it is Sunday now, and I'm getting ready to go do a little bit of grocery shopping just because there was a couple things that I don't need very much because, like I said, I did Hello Fresh meals this week. So I really just need to get like my little breakfast sandwiches and like maybe some snacks or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. There was something else I needed too, and I can't remember what it was on top of my head. Oh, Greek yogurts, because I used those in my lunches. So, I mean, that's about it. So I really don't have very much to do, but. I'm just gonna go do it really fast so I can get back and like clean up the house before the inspector comes today at one o'clock, so. Rudy made it, he texted me last night, he made it at like, I wanna say it was seven our time, so it's probably like, I don't know, eight their time, I think, so. Anyway, so he made it last night and I think he unloaded the truck and everything, like he was, because he texted me, or he called me at like nine something, I think it was, and he was like, I got it all unloaded, blah, blah, tell me these things, like, but now I gotta go try to go find somewhere to find food. <laughs> so, and I don't know, he, he said he couldn't sleep or anything. I couldn't sleep last night either. I don't know what it was. I just slept really weird. And plus it's been really cold here, and we have switched off our heater to air conditioner, so it, it's getting big and cold, it's like 40. I mean, that's not like super cold, but, when we were up in the 80s and 90s before <laughs> to go back down to 40 is a big deal but but I'm gonna go ahead and close out so I hope you like what you saw if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow me on all my social media that's listed down below and until next time please don't forget to always be you bye <laughs>